Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another beautiful piece of tea of the day on this amazing and beautiful Thursday. I hope that you are having an amazing day, that you are enjoying, that you are ready for the weekend. And girl, it is time to talk about the real housewife of Beverly Hills. But before we get into it, guys, remember, I have my collaboration with Rose Forever. And for the first time ever, we are doing a giveaway. Okay. So the instructions are on my Instagram, but it's very easy. You have to follow me and Rose Forever on Instagram. Of course, be subscribed to my YouTube channel and uh, tag two people on the official post on my Instagram. Okay. Go and do it right now. The winner of the giveaway will be announced on December 20th, okay? You can participate from anywhere you are. Um, also, I was going to tell you something. Oh, if you want to get your own bouquet of flowers, also, you know, my collaboration is still active. The, go to the link on the description below. Use my code, Andy Theory, if I'm right, and when the code is right there, and you will get $30 off your order. Okay, so get into that ASAP badge. <laughs> All right, so um, let's talk about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Girl, that dinner from hell, it was lit, it was insane, it was weird, and it was crazy. That's some of the things that I can tell you about uh, this dinner from hell. Uh, there are things that I'm st still trying to comprehend. I feel that, you know that I love Satan, right? Um, but I feel that I need her to finish her damn sentences. And I feel that she doesn't because she overthinks too much. I think that as she's talking, she's overthinking on, oh, do not make yourself look bad. Could they be careful with what you said? Be careful with this. And I think that's the main problem. If you're going to say anything or take hits at anyone, just complete the whole sentence. Because it drives me crazy when she is like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, you know what we're talking about. You know. You know, the same thing that Denise Richards did. But uh, Sutton did, did it to um, to Kyle. And I'm tired of it, okay? Because, yes, we know what we're talking about. But you know what? what is great TV? If you will go on and you will say, Kyle, we are tired. And I need to know if you are separating from your husband because we don't see a, a, a wedding band and there is this lesbian rumors going around and we need to know what the fuck is happening with you, you know? In her face, period, dot. But they're going around and going around and going around. It's I know, uh, to me, it's a little bit annoying, you know? However, I have to applaud Sutton because she's doing the Lord's job. You know, she's asking the questions that we want to ask, but she doesn't finish them, you know, and Garcelle doesn't help. Crystal doesn't help. Dorit and Erica, of course, are not going to help, you know, and I'm like, oh, you know, I mean, it, my frustration is that I want, I want to like shake them all. You know, I want to be like, just, just say what you need to say and stop with the pleasantness and stop with being so Beverly Hills for a little bit, you know, like, like no one wants to say anything like, oh, no one wants to be seen in a certain way. Girl, I love Beverly Hills and I love the classiness, but this is still a reality TV show. And the thing is, the main problem is that if you don't say it, production is going to take that, edit it in a certain way that is going to make you look weird, you know, and and then it can swipe people one way or another. So I need full sentences. No more cryptic things. No more, you know, I mean, is it? Was it? You know it? It's like, no, stop with that. Stop with the little questions. You know, just go straight to the jugular. Go for the kill, you know? And if one person screams, you can scream louder. That's what we need a little bit more. Um, but that dinner was insane. 
Denise Richards, girl. Look, I already give you the tea about this, you know, and I, you know that Denise was actually kind of like set up on this dinner by Erica and production. But a lot of people are trying to say that Denise maybe was on drugs or something like that. Um, she was not on drugs, but she was certainly a little bit drunk, you know, like she was, she definitely had some drinks before. And um, I think who someone said, I don't know if it was Garcelle. Someone say something like, no, uh, oh, Brandy, Brandy Glanville. Yes. So out of nowhere, because you know that they have that fallout. Brandy said, look, uh, I can tell you that Denise Richards do not do not do any drugs. But what you are seeing are definitely a hardcore pre-gaming on tequila. So I think she was just drunk because she didn't she didn't even get any um marijuana food or anything you know and that at that dinner so she was definitely just getting a little bit like on the drunker side uh but the same thing with erica you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about i'm like what are you doing girl <laughs> No, no, no. You are giving Erica and production everything they want to make you seem bad. And it pains me so much because, ah, the knees over everyone. I wish that she wouldn't just stay and throw a glass of water and throw it at Erica's face, you know, and like do the most. Something like that, you know. Instead, they make her seem like she was crazy. They make her seem like, like she was rough, you know. And I was like, oh, this is so bad. I I I did a video with the exclusive about Denise Richard, so really go to look into it. Uh, but I know that her team is pissed at the um, the editing that uh, they get they gave her. But girl, what can you expect? I love you, Denise. I really do, and you are a beautiful person in person. You know, like. Physically, she was beautiful, but you know that this crowd needs that action, you know? Um, so, yeah. So, anyways, that's some of the things that are happening right now. I mean, that dinner from hell was, like, definitely a dinner from hell. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What were your thoughts on everything that went down? And on Denise Richards and all of that. Let me know. And if you want to get all the tea related to The Real Housewife of Beverly Hills or any of the other Bravo shows or Pop Culture Street, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.